Join me as I delve into the cunning tactics narcissists use to present themselves as flawless and see if I can spot it in real time. When we think of narcissists, we often picture someone who's arrogant, self-centered and perhaps a bit entitled. But the reality is, narcissists can be incredibly charming and charismatic, making them appear almost perfect to those around them. They have a knack for portraying themselves as confident, capable, and even vulnerable, which can be highly appealing to others. Dealing with a narcissist can be an emotional roller coaster. They have a way of making you feel seen and heard, only to turn around and manipulate you into doing their bidding. They can make you feel like you're the problem, like you're overreacting or being too sensitive. It's a constant cycle of confusion, anxiety, and self-doubt. You might find yourself walking on eggshells, never knowing when they'll lash out or become critical. They might make you feel like you're not good enough or that you're lucky to have them in your life. And all the while, they're projecting this image of perfection, like they're the ones who have it all together. The emotional toll of dealing with a narcissist can be immense. You might start to feel like you're going crazy, like you're the one who's losing your grip on reality. But here's the thing, it's not you, it's them. They're masters at manipulating your emotions, at gaslighting you into doubting your own perceptions. Narcissists use a range of tactics to create this perfect facade. They're charming and charismatic, using their charm to win people over and get what they want. They're master manipulators, using guilt, anger, and self-pity to control those around them. And they're experts at gaslighting, making you question your own sanity and memory. However, one of their most insidious tactics is creating a false sense of intimacy. They'll make you feel like you're the only one who truly understands them, like you're the only one they can be their true selves around. And meanwhile, they're using this false intimacy to manipulate you, to get you to do their bidding. Another tactic they use is to create a sense of competition. They'll make you feel like you're constantly competing for their attention and approval. They'll play on your insecurities, making you feel like you're not good enough like you need to prove yourself to them. The key to understanding narcissistic behavior is to recognize these tactics for what they are, a desperate attempt to control and manipulate others. Once you see through the facade and recognize the tricks they're using, you can start to protect yourself. Understanding narcissistic behavior is not about becoming an expert on narcissism, it's about becoming an expert on yourself. It's about recognizing your own strengths and weaknesses, your own desires and boundaries. It's about learning to trust your own emotions and instincts rather than relying on someone else's validation. The importance of self-trust and validation cannot be overstated. It's the key to breaking free from the control of a narcissist. So the next time you encounter someone who seems too good to be true, who seems perfect and charming and charismatic, take a step back. Look for the cracks in the facade and the inconsistencies in their story. Don't be afraid to ask questions to seek out multiple perspectives. And most importantly, don't be afraid to trust your own instincts. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've had experiences with narcissists, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more emotional health and wellness content. I'll see you in the next video.